Previously with Peyton. Adam, yeah, what we did today? We did a lot today. We went Christmas shopping. The Lord told me to get my lick back, so I said, "Well, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tussie roll?" Standing in their restaurant, he was looking like this. It's a light curling. Baby, when Julia started, when Julia hit the bake head bounce like Big Mama on Soul Food. Off beat, I said, but see, see now, Julia, you had me, and then I left. This tree saying no kid. We just ruined the tree. Oh my god, I'm starting to feel it, and it hurt. <laughs> Be sure to check out the previous vlogs if you haven't already, and let's jump into today's vlog and see what's going on. guys merry christmas eve welcome back to another vlog so it's christmas eve my back is killing me but everything is under the tree all the gifts are wrapped i'm making some cookies because i'm in the mood for some milk and cookies i want my milk and cookies and i'm watching married at first sight it's a new season on netflix and child is getting deep and dangerous already honey they done booked a they done cast it, a shallow girl, and it ain't even been 24 hours, and ma'am don't want to be married no more. Child, like, why you come on the show? Why did you even come on the show? Swelling has gone down. I'm still a little yellow around my eye, but I guess it's just delayed bruising, so we'll see what it looks like in the next two days. But overall, I'm loving my results, especially the mono threads, like the smoothing that she put right up in here, the smooth threads. I highly recommend the mono threads, y'all, especially if y'all have any like, you know, loose skin, wrinkling, rippling around your mouth when you smile. Um, I'm not sure if mono threads are used for smile lines, but I mean, it just smoothed er everything out. Like, look, now when I smile, I don't know if y'all go back and watch previous videos when I smile and I laugh like all of this would just ripple. Hated it. So, so far I am loving my results and she definitely balanced me out. Cause like when I would like lean my head to the side on the right, all of this would be just like super loose skin. So now, you know, I got more of a defined jawline like I have on the left and I'm more symmetrical than I was before the procedure. So we love that, we love Tetchy. House is clean. Um, I just popped two ibuprofen cause my back is killing me. Ever since I took them nice stands up the stairs, y'all, I should have never did that. I should have never did that. And I've been going to the chiropractor, you know, for treatment on my back cause I injured my back and ever since i started treatment my back been hurting more like it'd be times where i can't even sit up that long child but yeah i was gonna open a gift tonight but i'm gonna wait to open all of the gifts tomorrow and i'm making some cookies and i'm just sitting relaxing and i hope you guys are having a merry christmas by the time you watch this video christmas would have been passed but i hope y'all got everything that y'all wanted um, got some good stuff for yourself and you have a merry merry christmas and a happy new year 
Um, I'm going to be super busy later on in the week because I have to go through all of the videos <laughs> that I uploaded this year and compile them into my best and funniest videos. Y'all, this is going to be so much work. I hope my back is up for it because, oh my God, we got to do it by the 31st. So anyway, um, yeah, we got our stockings right here. We don't have a chimney, so we just put it on a tree, but... Me and Karen, stockings full of goodies are right here. And yeah, I'm just chilling. And then this pajama set, me and Karen are dressed alike for Christmas. Last year we wore red, this year we're wearing blue. And y'all, this pajama set is so doggone comfortable, especially the pants. The pants is like this velvet material, honey. What is this velvet? It's so comfortable and I smell amazing. I just got out the shower and I layered Disrupt Beauty's Upper Echelon Body Lotion with Ani X by Nashani. Chef's Kiss. I had like a little sample of Ani X. It never wowed me when I went into the scent room, but like this combo, oh my god, yeah, I smell. I smell so good. Like I smell like a cozy winter christmas night like it's not a festive scent i just smell like a a cozy spa night it i, I smell so good so yeah honey i'm about to dim these lights sit back and relax and have me some cookies Shot it on cast to the man on the show that ain't got a job. Married at first sight, play too much. I think I'm gonna have to cut back on drinking so much coffee. I am breaking out a lot in this region here. I'm gonna put a little benzoyl peroxide on it. I've already washed my face and moisturized, but I wanted the moisturizer to kind of settle in before I put the benzoyl peroxide on it because this is gonna make it dry and itch. But I can say they're they're like little bitty uh, bumps. They, it look like a sugar breakout, like from drinking coffee. It don't look like hormonal so that's a good thing but it's so much it ain't you know what i'm saying spot treat worthy like we gotta go in we gotta go in this mirror at first sight is real interesting you know what really upsets me about mirror at first sight and how they match people because like they got a psychiatrist, they got a sociologist. That's what I majored in, in in college. A sociologist um, on the staff and uh, I guess the other, the other lady is a matchmaker. They got all these people in. While sometimes they get it right, when they get it wrong, I feel like it's devastating. It's devastating for the person that they got it wrong for. So they don't match this girl up who's shallow as hell. Like, ma'am only care about looks. She not even trying to get to know the dude. And I feel so sorry for him because men love it when women mean to him, right? So she mean as hell and he's steady liking her even more, trying to make it work. And she's she's just not into him because of how he looked. 
And I think that that is so wrong. Like, man, why would you even come on a show if you know that you're shallow and you care about looks? If looks matter to you, you don't need to go on no show like Love is Blind and Married at First Sight because nine times out of ten, the doctors who met you, they're matching you up with somebody based on your personality and your not likes, not how you look. And you ain't the you cutest cookie in the damn uh cake shop yourself. So, like me, I would never go on a show like that because I know that like, I have to be physically attracted to you. If I'm not physically attracted to you, baby, Miss Girl down there is not gonna work, honey. She's gonna be dry as a senior citizen. I don't typically see a lot of female narcissists, but baby, when I do, I point them out. Ma'am is such a narcissist. I feel like the only reason why she pretending like she wanted to make it work is so she can go to Puerto Rico on a trip. But ma'am don't have no desire to try to make it work in you know, I would be surprised at the end of the show if they end up liking each other and she end up liking him because right now she is doing him so wrong and it's upsetting me and my homegirls. Like, I feel like the staff need to ask you, are looks important to you? And then when he asked her, she gaslighting him. He was like, I feel like she gas, she is. Cause she could just come out and say, I'm not attracted to you and be done. And, and be like, I, I can't do this. Like he's not my type. I'm not attracted to him. I don't want to do the show and lead the show girl. Why are you trying to go on trips and saying you don't win a saw a psychic and a psychic told you you gonna end up with a man with an eagle tattoo. Bitch, if you don't get the fuck up off this damn show, you is all kind of silly and I'm tired of it. In my eyes, ma'am a little delay. I ain't gonna call her slow, but ma'am a little delay. And I, I don't understand how the sociologists and the psychiatrists didn't catch it. Y'all supposed to be able to point out people with mental disorders and, psych and, and, and personality disorders. She got about five. Shit up here, huh? Made my damn blood pressure go up. And I ain't even got high blood pressure. Then it's another man. Oh, there go my back brace. I was look, I came up here for this. Then uh, it's another man on the show. He got three cats, child. Not one, not two, but three. I said. Baby, ain't no telling what his house smell like. You can't tell me when you walk in that man house, his house don't smell like his. My grandmama, my, my daddy mama, she was very active in my life. I know I be saying that I'm an orphan and whatnot, da 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 da. But uh, my grandmama was very active in my life. That's the, she's the reason why I'm a Catholic. And she used to t come and pick me up every weekend, and I would spend the night over her house. I had my own room. I had a box full of Barbie dolls that she would never let me take back over to my other grandma house. I could only play with them over there. So I had dolls at one house and then the other house I ain't had that many dolls. That was very traumatizing for me as a kid now that I think about it. But anyway, she had 11 cats. When you walked in her house, it smelled like Clinique, Aromatic Elixir, and cats. Cat food, precisely. She had one cat named Kitty. And I don't know what Kitty had going, baby, but Kitty was the only cat for a long, long time. And then out of nowhere, when I go over to my grandma's house, I look around and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven damn cats. I said, where all these cats come from, grandma? Green. Baby Kitty had went around the neighborhood and told her, hey, it's this old lady that loved me, baby. Y'all can come over whenever y'all want. So uh, the uh, Kitty went and invited all the cool kittens and cats. And they had a peanut gallery over there. like, And it smelled like cats. It smelled like cats in the garage. It smelled, And she didn't even have a garage. It was a carport. It smelled like cats in a garage, baby. As soon as you walk in the house, it smelled like Clinique Aromatic Elixir, her, her favorite perfume, and cats. So you can't tell me when you walk in that man's house with three cats that it don't smell like cats in his house. I was like, oop, that's why. And he was like, every time I meet a girl, she really likes me. And then as soon as I tell her I got three cats, they ghost me. That's why. That's why. You got one too many damn cats. Oop. I, 
Girl, listen. And I know I know the cat people and, and the pet people gonna be in the comments. Peyton, you can just pay you can just light a candle and it get an air freshener and it won't smell like cats in the house. Listen, I got a dog nose. If you got a cat, I'ma smell it. That didn't come out right. That, 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 that didn't come out right. Don't now don't y'all record that. Don't y'all record that and try to make it a meme. Cause that didn't that didn't go. If you got if is if it was a cat if a cat is in your house, I'ma smell it. That's that's what I meant to say. Good morning, good morning, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys. We're in blue this year. Yeah. We're in blue this year. So we're getting ready to open our gifts. You can go ahead. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. You want to open it and smell it? Yeah. Look at her trying to clean up. I'm going to go get a garbage bag. Don't worry about that. Thank you, Mom. I wanted this. <laughs> You're welcome. Whoa! Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. You know what that is? A MacBook. I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. Cause this a and this a vlog. Thank you, Mom. My Uggs. Thank you, Mom. See if you can feel them. They fit? Yeah. Those are cute, huh? Thank you. You're welcome. That the kind of blue bag you wanted? Yeah. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome. It's a little baby wallet. Mm -hmm. It's a car holder. It's cute. 
Let me see. Thank Ooh, you. That's cute. Try them all. Let me see. Those are super cute. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do they match your purse? Oh, wow. They match perfectly. They match perfectly. Wow. Oh, wow. The big one? You got me that? Yeah. The biggest one? She got me the biggest one. Okay. What is we get, girl? Oh my God! Thank you, Karen. You are. Thank you, Bay. Thank you. You are. Let's see what you get me in here, girl. Ooh. Oh, we stepping. We stepping, honey. Oh, I gotta give me an outfit, outfit for these. These cute. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love them. Well, it looks Hi. like I see which um which gift is your favorite. You said what? I said I see um uh, Karen got her camera around her her uh neck. I said I guess yeah, I see. You were me. I said I guess I see which gift is your favorite. All right, I know y'all probably want to know what I got for Christmas, so um let's open some gifts, shall we? So I did do a secret Santa with a few content creators here on YouTube and um, Keisha pulled my name. Y'all probably know her, of course, on here on YouTube. It's Keisha Kaylee. She pulled my name and she got me two gifts. Now you was only supposed to uh, buy one, but Miss Girl went all out and she bought me the iRobot uh, vacuum. I've been wanting this. I've been wanting this. Um, I had one when I used to live in um, my apartment that I turned into an Airbnb and it broke. And I don't know, I don't know why it broke, but I've been wanting another one. So she got me the iRobot Roomba vacuum. And I'm about to plug this up and charge it so it can vacuum cause I have OCD and I'm always sweeping my house. So that is definitely gonna be used all the time. Um, and then she also got me the Stilosa Espresso and Cappuccino Maker. Does this have the, is this the one that have a frother on it? Yep, it has the frother on it and everything and you can make two in one. Y'all know I bought one and then I, I was supposed to return it to Amazon but I ended up gifting it to my trainer, so. Yep, she got me a cappuccino and coffee and espresso maker. It says espresso and cappuccino maker. Then, we got something from a friend, but I ain't gonna give too much detail on who child, cause people be investigating. We just gonna say a friend. Oh, this is sexy. Oh, so he got me this pretty chocolate YSL bag. Oh, I love this. I love this, this is gorgeous. 
Then we got something from the scent room. This was a gift from the scent room. So we got Oud Republic. This is by Panadora. And then we also got Initio's Oud for Greatness candle. I don't, I don't know if I even want to light this candle, y'all, because I think it's limited edition. So once you burn the candle, you're not going to be able to get this again until, I guess, the holidays. So I'm not sure if I want to burn this candle, but oh my God, let's open it. Because I know, like, I haven't worn Initio Oud for Greatness all year. I need to wear it. Oh my God. And I also got something from MFK. What do we got? Oh, I'm so glad I got this. Okay, so so then we got some Baccarat Rouge. This is the shimmering body oil. You can only get this in during the holidays too, y'all. And I've been wanting it ever since last year when it first came out and I went to the store to get it and it was completely sold out. So I got a bottle because Baccarat will always be that girl to me. And we got something from Tory Burch. Oh, I like that gift bag. It's like a Velcro. I like that. Baby, that's fancy. I like that, Tory. Tory Burch. We got some shoes. Love. Love. Ain't nobody gotta like them as long as I like them. That's all the hell. They are cute to me. I gotta show this to y'all because this 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 is what I was talking about a few vlogs ago. First of all, can we talk about the packaging? So this is a makeup clutch, but it comes with a chain to turn it into a purse. A gold purse. Like, come on now. Look at it. I'm gonna turn it into a purse. So inside, you have four lipsticks, a mirror, and all you have to do is take this out, take the the um, the lipstick display out, and you can turn it into a purse that holds your lipstick. You can put stuff in there. That, that can fit your phone, um, wallet. Uh, it can fit a, a number of things in here. You can definitely fit your phone in here, a wallet. It transforms into a freaking purse. Dior purse, a Dior gold clutch. And it was only $200, but $300. So this, oh my God, would y'all look at this freaking red? Look at that red. Ain't that so pretty red? Oh, that is a gorgeous red. Now this was another reason why I wanted it cause this red was so god doggone pretty. It's like, it's giving Ruby Woo vibes, but better. This pretty velvet mauve color. That's a pretty color all by itself that's gorgeous this velvet this is like a pinky nude this is very beautiful and then you also get this beautiful velvet nude like like can we talk you just clip the chain on and there you have you have a beautiful christian dior gold Clutch purse. Next up, we got something from Chanel, honey. Now, technically, this is my first Chanel bag. So, um, it's a celebration, child. It's a celebration, because y'all know um, I don't play about my price points. I went in Chanel, I was like, listen. Um, I don't know what I thought was about to happen, but when ma'am was like, well, let me show you our, our minimum uh, price bags. Baby, that bag was still $4,500. I was like, ma'am, show, show me the coin purses. Show, 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 show me the wallets. 
Show me the card holders. Cause listen, that's that's just it's so much for a purse, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh we're it's a celebration because we we did good this year. Um a lot of amazing things happened this year. I'm awarding myself. I am rewarding myself. I am rewarding myself. This is a this is this is I deserve it. I deserve it. I worked really hard this year. I just <laughs> y'all I don't like spending that much money on purses. I don't. I don't. It's just me. It's just me. Maybe I'll grow out of it. I don't know, but like sure. I don't care how much money I make. I'm still not, I still don't like spending a lot of money on purses. And I will thank God that I'm blessed to be able to do something like this for myself. So we have a Chanel bag. This packaging is so freaking pretty. I don't even want to open it. So this is the bag. It's cute. It's like a bucket bag. So this is the Chanel 22 mini handbag. Um, the Chanel also comes in white letters, but I got the classic gold. She said that the white letters was rare and she was like, since this is your first bag, it's probably best to get it in gold. I got this bag as my first bag because I wanted a wearable bag for the price. I wanted to be able to wear my bag and I feel like this is a very functional bag. You can get so much in it. I like the bucket material um, or the bucket style of the bag. I can get my phone in it and a, you know, my card holder, um, my keys. You know, I can fit a lot in this bag and I can wear it with a variety of outfits. I don't have to just wear it when I'm dressing up. I can wear this, you know, every day even though i wouldn't typically wear this as an everyday bag but i wanted a functional bag so i can get my money's worth out of it because it's not one of them bags that i'm just gonna sit on you know i do have a lot of bags where i just sit and it look like it's for collection purposes but being that this is my first um chanel splurge i wanted a functional bag so she cute Y'all know I'm a shoe whore. We got some Aqua Zara shoes here. Oh, these are gorgeous. Got some from Christian Louboutin. All right, we got a classic strappy sandal. This is the 120 centimeters. Those are gorge, very minimal. We got something from Marnie. Okay. So we got some Marnie sneakers. These are really cute. I tried these on in the store. They kind of make my feet look a little big, but I think that these would be so cute with like a white tennis skirt, no socks. Kind of one of those type of vibes. Kind of, you know, like a little an old money look. I think that'll be cute. Those will be cute with those. We got something from Fendi, my favorite brand. So what do we got? Oh, we y'all. I had to get this. I had to get this. It comes in a bigger size too, like a thicker one, but I got this one. So it's the bracelet that matches the ring that I got. Ain't that cute? So then I also picked up this Fendi bracelet. The gold is just a little bit more shinier. This one is thicker. I like it that it opens up like that and goes on the wrist. I also picked up the ring to match. So we got the matching ring to that bracelet. That's so cute. And I told y'all that I lost my Fendi bracelet. I had had it for a while, but I decided to go ahead and replace it because I don't know, I feel like it became like a signature for me. I feel like it it, it um, covered my keloid on my chest really well. Um, it 
it complemented a lot of my other jewelry that I would wear along with this. So like sometimes I would wear that because I never took it off. I, I, I slept in it, I showered in it, I would swim in it. You know what I'm saying? I never took it off. So when I would put on like my Cuban necklace or something like that, I would just put on the Cuban necklace and wear it with it. So I felt like it complemented a lot of my other jewelry that I would wear along with it. And I don't know, when it was gone, I just felt naked without it. I'm wearing other necklaces right now, but I don't know. Like I said, I feel like the Fendi necklace was just a signature for me. Because one, that's like my favorite designer brand. I love Fendi. I love everything about Fendi. And yeah, I, I love that necklace. So when I went in the store, I didn't see any in the display. And I was like, do y'all have any more? And they had some in the back. And uh, it's just a beautiful necklace. And I have the earrings to match. So I was like, might as well replace it. So that was my gift to myself. So yeah, that's what I got for Christmas. I really appreciate everybody that got me Christmas gifts. I really appreciate everybody that watches and supports my channel. Um, the many subscribers and PayPal's that have sent super thanks. Um, the ones that attend the lives. I love y'all so much. I, I mean, being on YouTube has literally changed my life. So I thank y'all with everything, every breath in me. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. I was I was all giddy to go upstairs and sit on the uh, rooftop. It's cold as hell outside, girl. So we fit a light the fire pit in here. Cause it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, Lord, damn. You better be on fire. <laughs> ah! Ooh, wait. That scared your mama. All right, let's get it going, honey. Let's get it going. We got our graham crackers. We got cinnamon graham crackers. We got marshmallows. And we got milk chocolate. <laughs> Milk chocolate. So let's put everything on a plate. It's a plate. It's French. Okay, uh, I gave me one more. You know how to speak French? No. Say we. Oui. We. Oui. You know what we stand for? No. Yes. Milk chocolate is so stinky, but it be so good. You just let it sit in your mouth and melt. Melt in your mouth. It's so good. But it's stink. It smells like feet. Whoa! Never gonna let you go away. So first, put your marshmallows and then burn it. Really should be doing this on the rooftop, but it's too cold outside. Oh, help! Help! <laughs> okay, you put a little, you put your chocolate on your thing. Cameron, be careful. Okay. Okay, and then you smash it.
What's that? I ain't liking how you 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 give it away. you give it a taste. I ain't liking how it's, it's giving. It was it was made on a fire pit. It tastes like it. It tastes the marshmallow tastes like ethanol. Um, I think I have a forty year old tongue and you just have a eighteen year old tongue, so it tastes good to you. But to me, it's giving carcinogenic. I could taste the cancer in the marshmallow. But that's just me. Say the truth ain't pretty, but coming from that pretty mouth, the truth is pretty. Cause you ain't never talking loud, and you know plenty. You know what I'm talking about, cause you just get me, yeah, you so pretty. So I got a new package from Makeup Unity, y'all. If y'all watch some of my old vlogs, like if you've been here since the beginning, when I first started vlogging back in 2020, then you know that Makeup Unity always was sending me packages, PR packages, and they stuff be so cute, y'all. And they just sent me a Christmas package. It is so cute. Hold on, let me take it out the box. So this is the box they sent me. It's a big old Christmas box full of stuff. Okay. So it says, Dear Payton, Merry Christmas. Hello, friend. I've heard you've been very good this year. We wanted to send you some beautiful items for such a beautiful person. Thank you. You deserve all the great things that life has to offer and more. We love watching your videos and plan to partner with you all of 2024. We are growing and love how you have grown. We hope that you loved all of your previous items that we've sent and even now. We'd love if you do a PR unboxing. Have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Don't forget to leave some cookies and milk for Santa. Ho, 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 Santa Claus. I told you I used to believe in Santa Claus, girl. Okay, so like I said, I've they have sent me like a slew of things y'all big boxes of makeup lashes dresses like i'll i'll post one of the dresses that they send like they send like date night evening where baby they done hooked me up because i'm about to be going on some dates yep i'm yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 2024 i'm falling in love yep so you can shop with them at makeupunity.com they are based in murfreesboro tennessee honey because you know it ain't nothing but tens I see in Tennessee, okay? And, like, they have the cutest stuff. So, they sent me this dress. Do y'all remember this dress? When I went on a date with that guy, with that 28-year-old, with that y'all. That's, it came from Makeup Unity. That, baby, they sent me some bad dresses. I got this dress. I also got this dress. I've worn this dress before, too. Man, they be hooking your girl up, okay? They be hooking me up. So they sent me a, a little list of the things they sent, and wow. Wow. Oh, they sent me some boob tape, child. I'm excited. Okay. Okay, so this is the first dress. It's a sheer dress. So you can wear um, a black bodysuit under this, or you could just, you know, wear some panties. So this is the printout of how it looks. That's cute. Oh, they sent me some sheer gloves. I wanted some of these. Oh, you know what? And I already got some in mind to wear with these. Oh, this is so cute. Look, they sent me a necklace, a choker. It's the fact that I literally wanted this. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's going to go perfect. It's going to go perfect with this. It's going to go perfect with them gloves. They sent me some silicone nipple covers. They must know I needed them, try. I needed these. They sent me some um some um some some more nipple covers, some breast lifting tape. 
All right now. Oh, it's the packaging. Look how look how it comes packaged. Oh wow, the quality is insane, y'all. So they sent this jumpsuit, and this is what it looks like. So next they sent this cute lace dress, and this is what it looks like. Um. So this is definitely trending right now. So they sent this top and it's a skirt to go with it. And this is the skirt. Then we got this lace bodice. So, so cute. Pants to go with it. And it kind of looks like your thongs are sticking out of it that's cute and that's how it looks that and then lastly we got this bandage dress and that's how that looks try getting these businesses off the ground I'm, I'm, I've been skipping a couple of meals honey I've been focused so let me try this on I don't know. Sometimes I feel, some days I feel like I, I don't lost weight in the end. Some days I'd be like, oh, you're good. You know, you're maintaining. So let me try this on. Okay, I like this. The medium definitely fits. The pants are extremely long. So I'm, I'm good for a pair of heels. And they still gonna be dragging the floor. Love that. It gives the illusion that you're sagging and your panties are kind of like sticking out of the pants I like it okay next fit I really like this this is so cute very high quality um, I have a little slack here so I will have to get the dress taken in but I don't feel like I need a small I think the medium is perfect because you know I had to get past these hips child these child bearing hips that I paid for yeah so um yeah i love it i like how i love the fit i love the fit so i'm gonna have to get a little help whenever i wear this to put this on because I, I feel like i almost got it zipped but i don't want to damage and bust no seams child but this is cute i feel like this is really cute okay I was scared for a minute because was, I was struggling to get them past these hips. They compressed me in a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to have I'm gonna have to get somebody to help me close because, baby, the back is giving billboard. It's a little wide, so I'm going to have to get a little help to put this on. But this is cute. This is cute. I like this. I like how the dress flares at the bottom so it's not pencil so you don't have to like walk like this in it because it fits all up in here so you can wear boots with this dress if you want it um, lace and leather is always a look you can wear boots with this put on a leather jacket if you want it to like give it more of an edgy vibe instead of an evening gown vibe but this is definitely date night appropriate it just depends on where you're going because baby they're not gonna let you in drakes with this song mm -mm. nope they're gonna turn you around it's gonna be pretty embarrassing i tried i tried they don't like you to wear lace and see-through in drakes it don't matter how cute and dressed up you feel you are you ain't gonna be able to get in so it just depends on where you go, but I feel like this is date night appropriate, you know. Get the eyes. So this is that beige jumpsuit. This is really cute. Like I said, I done lost a little weight. If I gain like five pounds, this is going to be chef's kiss on me, okay. But right now, I'm like 137, child. So um, I like how it fits. The pants are extremely long. Like this is gonna look so cute if you pair it with some so cakes because of how long the pants are and they zip right here. You can kind of pull them over the, the heel. You see how they look? Can y'all see that? That's gonna be really cute with some pumps. 
especially these so case because it just it just flows with the color so yeah so kate new bag and it got that zipper on the side so if you want to open it and you don't want it to be like you know skinny you can open it and give it a boot cut vibe but that's cute oh yeah that's real cute it looks so much better with the with the pumps on Ugh. all right i'm having a hard time putting this one on it's a little difficult this is one of them dresses where i'm gonna need some help so um yeah but the fit is good i ain't that i ain't got nothing to worry about the fit it fits amazing it's just we got a couple of zippers and a little clamp in the back that requires me to and try i don't know which way i'm supposed to go oh lord the heat is on because it got hot in here but i just put up all of my new pieces thank you so much makeup unity i'm so looking forward to working with y'all all 2024 i am absolutely honored y'all pieces are such high quality absolutely amazing y'all go and support they have always been a supporter on my channel since 2020 they have been sending me huge pr boxes of very high quality pieces and i might not wear them immediately but listen i'd be saving them because you know they're black dress listen i still got that black dress baby i'm gonna wear that black dress again on another day with another man yeah yeah because that one didn't work but it's okay it's okay it didn't go to waste i can tell you that baby i had eyes on me all night so i got another dress from house of cb I ordered this dress. I bought this dress, um, I'm going to say a month ago. And I almost threw it away because I was getting boxes out of my house and throwing boxes away in my garage. I was very close to throwing this dress away. I'm so, I'm so glad I didn't because this dress was not cheap. But it's, I feel like this was a holiday dress. I should have went to a holiday party, um, or an event because it's such a fun dress it's such a beautiful elegant Aubrey Hepburn Mary Marilyn Monroe type of dress <sighs> so this is it it's huge it's, it's it's so it's so big I feel like you can put um one of them coat slips up under it and, and make it even more poofy but it's strapless this is what i was saying like i could wear those gloves with it and that um that rose choker i think that this would be so cute i need to go to a party y'all i need somebody to invite me to a holiday party so i can wear this dress oh i love it it's so so freaking beautiful plain but perfect so we are going to hang this one up with the blacks. Big sun coming strong through the motel blinds. Wake up to the world. And now let's start to be faster. I watch you fix your hair Then put your panties on in the mirror Clear patcher Then your lipstick Clear patcher Then your six inch heels catcher She's headed to the pyramid She's working at the pyramid tonight Working at the pyramid Working at the pyramid tonight yeah, working on the pyramid. Oh, uh, working on the pyramid. Uh, yeah, working on the pyramid. Working on the pyramid tonight. Thank you. Working on the pyramid. Working on the pyramid tonight.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just bought me another gun or whatever. It's nice, y'all. It's bigger than the Hellcat. It's a little bit bigger than the Hellcat. It's still, you know, it's still a nice size, you know, but I had to get another one so I can have one for both cars, one in both cars. Um the Hellcat, I love the Hellcat. When y'all saw like all the head shots, that was with the Hellcat. The other, I, I shot both of them at the range today, but the Hellcat was the one with the head shots. Like, that one gonna land, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta get used to the HK. Um, the guy, he was really cute. The guy in there that, that sold me the HK, he was really cute, baby. He's like, yeah, like when you come up here, yeah, 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 I'm definitely gonna be coming back. I'm definitely gonna, because you are, he, he was cute. Yeah, he was showing me the gun and he was like, this is the, this, that bad boy, this, that big boss right here. Um, I went in and I was looking at a Springfield. He was like, I hate Springfields. I'm like, all right, well, what, what do you recommend? And he was like, the HK. He was like, this, that's the one. And I know he know what he's talking about because he used to be in the, um, the Air Force. No, he said he was in the, army i think he said he was in the army and he was on the front line so i know you know what he's talking about when it come to guns that i ain't got to worry about where what where else i oh, i said i wanted to go to the gym i need to get my i need to get this car washed i need to go to the post office let's go to the post office because i need to go and build this stuff out let me go to the post office but yeah i end up getting the hk it was almost almost a thousand really good gun like no recoil smooth shoot like you can pretty much pull the trigger with your with my nail in it you know what i'm saying it's it's, it's just a smooth shoot it just it just feels so good um the hellcat i love it just hurt to shoot like after about six shots my hand be hurt it's it that's a powerful gun like you feel the power in the shot like you can it, it just it just hurt it just hurt so like i don't know you know i keep that i i usually keep the hellcat in my bmw but yeah i definitely gotta uh start going more frequently to the range because you know i get a little rusty in my shots and stuff like that but y'all know when it comes to being a marksman i'm excellent you know I, i've always been excellent i've always been a good shooter so if y'all ever need a shooter, you know what I'm saying? Call your girl. I've always, I've always been a shooter. I've always been an excellent shooter. So you know, it's it's never, it's never nothing for me on that. It's never nothing on that. <laughs> but yeah, your girl got to start going more frequently. I need to, I need to, I need to become a member. Am I a member? All right, I'm about to pop in here and go in um, Sephora because Danessa Myricks has these blushes, y'all. All colors. I want them in all colors. Them blushes is so pigmented. Like, am I a blush girl? They like double as like lip stains and blushes. Pressure. Okay, so we about to pop in Sephora. I don't think that this Sephora let me film, so I'm not going to take y'all in here um, we'll just do like a uh, in the car haul after I come out because they be tripping. They be wanting you to like fill out a form and like girl, it's promotion. I've literally had sponsorships with Sephora. Stop it. All right, I am starving. Okay, shorts. This baby got on a hoodie and shorts. <laughs> I can't. There's a burger place, it's called Village Burger Bar. So, I've never tried it, so, and I'm starving. So, we about to pop over here. And then we're gonna walk over to European Wax Center because it's right around the corner and I got a really good parking spot. I'm not gonna risk it. good I put on a good coat because it ain't nowhere to sit in there I guess this place is pretty popping or maybe most of the people that's eating in there live around in these apartments and townhomes because it's crowded in there it's nowhere to sit on the inside I'm sitting outside by the fire pit and it's
skull. I was not expecting it. And they could turn the heat up. They could. Girl, as long as you wrap your arms around me. A kid can't wear that moon. Karen, first of all, you are not a kid, baby. You are a, an adult. You can get your own apartment. You ain't a kid no more, and you can wear these. You want one of these? You want me to get you some of these? Okay, I'll get you some. She love these. This the second time I've wore one of these jumpsuits. The other one I had on was gray. This one is black. This from Gym Girl era. Baby, I'm telling you, snatch. They snatch like ain't no camera like kids can't wear that mom. Baby, you not a kid. If you want me to get you some of these, I'll get you some. You want to try on one I got in the smile? Because I don't think they come in extra small. You can try it on. And if it fit, I'll get you, I'll get you all. You done with them green beans? You done with them? Yeah. Okay. I did so good at the gun range today. Look at all them head shots. The head shots is with the Hellcat. And then, and then these, I went to a gun range. And then these is with the HK. The guy was like, try to shoot all of them on this target. So I did pretty good. How about I this almost one? hit the X on this one. I almost, I was real close. And then he was like, try to shoot the X. He was like, try to shoot the X on this one. Man, I hit that X so many times. Like back to back, I, I kept on shooting in the same spot. I'm telling y'all, stop playing with me. When it comes to shooting, baby, if you need a shooter, <laughs> if you need a shooter and a scrapper, a shooter and a fighter, baby, I, I'm your girl. I'm your girl, for real. I, should, I really should have applied to be a CIA agent. I think that would have been so fun. I should have been a part of the Secret Service. Take you down, I really want to take you down and show you what love's about. Can I take you down, your body, body, oh. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, ta I'll take you down. I ain't aiming for no legs and no pinky toes. I can tell you that. You shot that girl and her pinky toes, she was flying. Now you want to shoot me in the pinky toe. Let me show y'all my new baby. <laughs> you don't need to see this. What, well, huh? Mm, I'll show it to y'all later. I don't need you. Mm -mm. Look at her. I don't want to buy some Mo K Pods. Now, these aren't the same ones that I had previously. I bought these off Amazon and I really, really like them. But we're gonna try out this Dunkin' Donuts. What, what, what flavor I get? I got French vanilla. Oh, I didn't even realize I did that. I thought I had just got a regular Dunkin' Donut um, coffee thing. Coffee pod. But apparently I got French vanilla. So we're gonna try it out and see how we like it. But I really do like the ones that I got off Amazon. I just noticed that I was getting low. And I'll be darn. I'll be darned if I run out of coffee after I done sat up here and, and got addicted and whatnot. Now I gotta figure out how to use my espresso machine and, and start making espresso. And I'm gonna have to buy me some cups to, to fit under it. That's how she would be talking. She would be like, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I like she, but she will a Pisces too. I should have known Sheba was a Pisces, baby. We be having so much knowledge. All right, Cameron, I'm going downstairs so I can show y'all my new baby, baby. This mug. Cold-blooded. I got a Heckler and Cock. It's an HK. That's what they call it, an HK, baby. I got an HK. This is a cold... Oh, my God. 
I'm finna load it up. I don't know, I already shot it. This is a very smooth shooting gun. I'm telling you. No recoil. The only thing that I don't like about this gun is because my nails are so long, it take, it take a look to get the clip to release out of this one. Versus my Hellcat, I just press a button, it easily drops. But yeah. Babe, I feel like I feel like Angela Bassett. I'm not, not Angela Bassett shit. Angelina Jolie. I feel, I'm, I'm Charlie's Angel. This is a cold. And it's bigger than the Hellcat. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you the difference in size. So you can see the difference in size. It's much, much bigger. I wouldn't say twice the size. But, you know, this is my little conceal. You know, I can go running with this one and conceal it. This one, I ain't going to be able to conceal this one. Not not in a pair of leggings. Not in what I got on right now. But this one, shit. Pull up on me if you want to. <laughs> pull up, pull up on me if you want to. It's gonna listen. It's gonna be a sad day, not a Saturday. It's gonna be a sad day. We about to load these. I had to buy a mag, a mag loader for the HK, cause <sighs> baby, loading the magazines hurt. Y'all, when I say I got so many compliments on this little jumpsuit. I got so many compliments on this jumpsuit. I don't know if it's the flare legs or this situation or the fact that, you know, she's just giving body in it, but I got a lot of compliments on it and it is so freaking comfortable. I've been in Lululemon and I've tested out their products and, you know, tried on. This is so comfortable to Lululemon, y'all, for a fraction of the cost. Like, Gym Girl era really ate when it came to these. Really ate. I think they got one more color in these that I don't have. But, like, when it come to these, I know they got a few different styles of these. So, you got, like, this with this little halter situation. But they got different styles in these jumpsuits. So, even if you don't want to get it where it go around the neck, it, they got, like, tank ones. Man, this material, though, like, I swear, it remind me of, like, that Faha. Not the, not the, uh, the girdle part of the Faha, but... Just the material, like how it just snatches you in. Like even when you putting it on, you know, getting it past these hips, I do struggle a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, but man, once you get it on, the way it snatch your waist and you just giving shape, oh, and it just feels so good, y'all. Like it, I just got a wax, right? I'm not chafing. I don't feel like you know what I'm saying. It's rubbing up against my sensitive areas that just got waxed. Like, it's squat approved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I ain't even pop. You ain't hear nothing pop that time. Hey, girl, I like this thing. All colors. Let me see what colors I got. I got three. I got this in three colors. I need one more. Because I think it only come in four colors. But the, the, the other one that I wanted was sold out. Man, I'm getting this in all colors. Stop playing with me. Okay, what do we get as the photo? So, I got the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I got it in the shade 3.5 Neutral. I don't know what, I already have that foundation, but I don't know what color I got. But I don't know, when I put it on, it looks very ashy on me. So, I feel like I needed a new color. I have been loving this. I got to show y'all my new skincare routine because I feel like it's finally benefiting my skin and I'm seeing, I'm seeing change. I'm seeing improvement. That's the word I'm looking for. I've been using this a lot. I stopped using the tretinoin and I'm using more clindamycin. So yeah, got a refill for that. The refill is like ten dollars cheaper than buying a whole new bottle plus it you know protects the environment then we got the natural radiant longwear foundation the other day when i went out with amarachi she had on this foundation and her skin looked absolutely amazing she looked like a freaking doll and she said she had this on so we're giving this another try i don't know if i've tried that one particularly before but 
I don't know, natural, radiant, long wear, medium to full coverage. We love that. So let's give it a whirl. Then I picked up the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got Kyron Sweet Candy and then I got mine in vanilla. Y'all, when it comes to like this season, this winter season, because it's about to start really picking up in the like... It's, it's about it's about to really start getting cold in Dallas now. It typically gets cold here in Dallas late December to February. And listen, we don't need no chapped lips. Sleeping with this lip mask on, oh my God, I wake up and my lips be so suckable and kissable. I just love it. Then Charlotte Tilbury done came out with a magic water cream child. I guess this is supposed to be in competition with... um that gel moisturizer water cream. i forgot who makes it i tried it and it broke me out but i guess this is like competing with it i love charlotte tilbury i love their magic cream when when the magic cream first came out that was like my go-to primer when i was always doing my makeup so we're gonna try the magic water cream this was 30 dollars, and this is just the mini so i'm pretty sure the big one is 100 dollars, just like the magic cream then I have been loving Way's St. Bars line. I have their body scrub and I also have their body lotion. So I picked up the body cleanser because, oh my God. I'm talking about, that's all you need on vacation. And it just, it just smells like a vacation. It smells like you in the Maldives somewhere. It don't even feel like I went to the Maldives this year, but I totally went to the Maldives this year. They gave me a sample of Good Girl Blush. This is a feminine and beautiful bergamot. Oh, bergamot. I love bergamot. Let's give this a smell. I don't really wear Good Girl, the Good Girl that I have. Hmm. This is bergamot, bitter almond, ylang ylang, peony, vanilla, and tonka bean. I might have to go get this one. I like this one. What is up with me liking feminine scents with peonies and rose and bergamot lately? Like, child, my nose done changed. The vibe done changed. I like this one. This one's pretty. It must be that vanilla in the Tonka Bane with the bergamot because I love bergamot. Yeah, I liked it. I'm going to have to go get that one. It's the Good Girl Blush. And that's what the bottle looks like. Yep, I'm going to have to go get that one. We're going to spray that one on tonight for our after bath. Then we picked up what I went to Sephora for and I ended up spending over $300. This is all I wanted, but I ended up getting more. So I picked up basically four out of the six Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder Flushed Blush. I got it in Jubilee, which honestly I feel like on my skin tone, it'll give like a bronzy, I just came out of the Caribbean sun. Then we got Golden Hour, which is like a, a peachy red. Rose in Brunch. It's like a mauve. These are, this is my like go-to blush color for me in my skin tone. I love a good old mauve. And then we got Prima Donna. So this is like a rosy, rosy red. We'll see how that looks. We're going to have to go real light on some of the ones that's fit. Because these are really pigmented. So on the ones that's like super bright, like Prima Donna and uh, Golden Hour, these two. We're going to have to go a little light-handed, be a little light-handed. But the other two, I can just, you know, I can just go to town with those. So that is our Sephora haul. And we didn't do too bad, but I did disclose how much I spent. It's hard going in Sephora and not spending a lot of money. If you can go in Sephora and get what you want, Sephora is like Target. Let's just talk about it. We can go on here and say Sephora is like Target, and it is. Because if you can go in Sephora and get what you want, buy one thing and get what you want and not be influenced by any of the Sephora essays and reps or anybody else in Sephora that's just looking at makeup, you good. But me, I'm going to turn up. Sister girl. 
Sister girl, it's about that time to get jiggy. Sister girl, sister girl, it's gonna be a good day. Sweep the sidewalk, let your side talk, bust it down open wide, and the air feels so pretty, get jiggy. Let your next move be your best move. Pack your bags, we outside. Ain't a hating ho got motion this way. Was that an ant? I know you motherfucking lying. Where my bug spray? <laughs>